celebrate one of the country's most renowned portrait photographers who is celebrating LGBTQ culture during Pride Month. The new exhibit entitled On Christopher Street, Transgender Portraits by Mark Seliger features an array of pictures taken on New York City's iconic Christopher Street in the heart of the city's LGBTQ community. The black and white photos were taken between 2013 and 2016, capturing the beauty, the struggle, and theater of an incredible neighborhood and its people. The exhibit opens tomorrow at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston, and Mark Seliger joins us now. He is the former chief photographer for Rolling Stone. Um, Mark, it's good to see you. Good to have you on We're the show. Great, great, to, Hi, great to have you here, Mark. And you know Thank what you I love? Me. What I love about what I love about these portraits, and what I love, sort of the story behind the story is, you didn't really know what you were taking right. shots of. You weren't yeah. out to make any point. You weren't out. To, 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 you were just simply documenting what was happening in your neighborhood, what yeah. was happening on your street. And then you look back all these years later, and you're like, oh, wow, okay, this was the beginning of something yeah. much bigger. Yeah, and I think there's, uh, you know, a lot of truth to the idea that when you see things sort of disappearing, right, it's your obligation, uh, or, or my obligation as, as, as someone who documents to be able to contain that and to, and to share it uh, with, you know, the rest of the world. And, uh, you know, my neighborhood, I live in on the West Village, uh, it was gentrifying and it was changing rapidly. And I could see that, you know, the, the landscape was changing, the theater was going away, the beauty of this kind of gender equality, you know, almost like an Ellis Island for gender equality was disappearing. And my curiosity to go out and do portraits led me to photograph just on Christopher Street because I wanted to kind of isolate where, you know, that 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 one place was for me, and I, a, a place I actually would avoid normally, you know, just because wow. of kind of the the theater of it. So, yeah. So, um, if for those not going to the exhibit, we can show just a, a few of them. Um, here we have a couple, um, a, a photo that you took. Um, who are these people and what's the story? Well, so this is a couple, and this is Jamal and uh, Leomi, and uh, they became our, our, our cover subjects. So they both transitioned and then they found each other, uh, you know, on a dating service. You know, they, they just found their, their way to each other. And what I learned from my experience of talking to my subjects who were very open and very, very honest with me was that who you love and who you are are two different things. So, yeah. you know, as I dug deep into uh, their stories, you can really kind of build, uh, you know, through their own trauma, through their own disappointments, through the, you know, the disconnection with family, but also the triumphs of being your true self. So the authenticity for, sure. for me was so important. And just two more. Uh, we have here um, this beautiful photograph of a woman with a scarf, Mahala McElroy. Mahala, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And also, um, I'll show the third just because we're running out of time, uh, Tiny. Yeah. Um, so tell us about these two photos. So Mahala, I met, uh, actually the day before I met her, I went to the pier to photograph some subjects and there was this complete turmoil, which was uh, somebody had drowned. So the pier was cut off and the next day I, photo mm. I photographed Mahala as she was sitting near the pier. And then a year later when she came to the studio, she told me that that had been her boyfriend who had committed suicide. Mark, do you hope that as you tour uh, with the uh, book and the exhibits, that it gives a human face in areas of the country, what we used to call the Bible Belt and others, gives a human face to LGBTQ people and transgender because Absolutely right. that's what I face. I came out of a hardcore Pentecostal church, but when I started going to the village, these are human beings with human stories. Yeah who face family uh, uh, disowning yeah. in many cases, Fam yeah. family abandonment. 
Yeah, Reverend, thank you. That's, that's, that's a really, really invaluable point you just made is that most of these, uh, my subjects, had experienced like families completely breaking ties with them and, you know, having to go on their own and do it. And, you know, a lot of the times when you see people working the street, they're actually working in order to be able to, you know, afford their operations in order to be able to be them true self. So the education that I hope this ex exhibition brings throughout is really, really important. It certainly taught me a lot. The new exhibit entitled On Christopher Street, Transgender Portraits by Mark Seliger opens tomorrow at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. Mark Seliger, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much, Mark. Thank, thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. Always, always an honor. Thank you so much.